those fucking beasts on. How do you want to start this podcast? I don't know. I think it already did. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no. Um, this is our comeback, baby. Comeback, yeah. Fucking where? Where we been? We've been busy. Just a little bit. A little bit. I wouldn't a say of, a lot of uh, anxiety-inducing things. Yeah, a lot of unfortunate things too. Yep. Yeah, I freaking. Uh, I ended up. Why did I say freaking? I'm an adult. Let's say fucking. This is an <laughs> explicit show. It says it in the banner. I forgot to fuck with my uh, mic thingy before we started, so I'm a little... Okay, I'm good. Yeah, I end up... Uh, I actually had to uh, fly home. Like, my home home in Illinois. Oh, the great beyond. Springfield? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, my uh, my uncle, unfortunately, passed away. So I was gone for... I had to take a hiatus. Sorry. <laughs> life sprung yeah, up. Yeah, life oh. things happened. Yeah. Oh, what the? Okay. What the hell just Jeez. happened? Is that a power surge? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you also had that inspection with work, which was horribly stressful, but it went well. No, I wasn't here for it. Yeah, well. You not, were? Yeah. I'm sorry. No, I was, I was fine. I was like, I, I've been doing this for a long time. These drills are nothing. Yeah. They've been trying to get me for years. Dude. Not working. I'm sure I pissed a lot of people off because I had to leave last minute. I feel well, really that's bad. not like your fault, though. So I know, I know, it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's unfortunate and sucks, but yeah, there ain't nothing I can help. I had to go. It's yeah. one of those things. It's like there's no question. I gotta go. Military or not, yeah. I gotta go. Do you just go by yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I left the family here. It's probably one of those situations where it's just like gotta go. But 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 so it was an unfortunate time. But I do have a funny story yeah. out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna tell it. <laughs> I think I, I think I already told you I got a funny story. Just a little, just a smidgen. Okay, so, okay, so I'm at the okay, so we're at the funeral, all right, and I don't know how this is funny. It's just funny. So we're walking, we're walking around the funeral, and you know how they got all the flowers set up, like people can send flowers, like little notes. Yeah. And uh, as soon as I walked in, like I started at the left side of the room, worked myself to the right, and my uncle was cremated, so he was like in the middle or whatever. <laughs> And uh, there was a bunch of flowers on the left side, and they were all like little pots, like little flowers. Like that one? Yeah, <laughs> just like that one. And I'm like, wow, these, you know, these are really nice. I was yeah. really nice to these people. I'm reading the notes. And then when I get to the end, there's this giant heart, huge, like big as fuck, right? <laughs> it's like red roses on one side and these beautiful white flowers on the other. And I'm just like looking at my sister's right next to me. I'm like, dude, what a fucking show off. Like, <laughs> really? Someone had to show up the party. Like, someone had to flash well, their money. Not a party, like, what but... a fucking douche. <laughs> and my sister like chuckled. She's like, yeah, that's pretty amazing. I'm like, no, nah, fuck that dude. <laughs> so I'm sitting down next to my brother and my sister. And my brother leans over to me. And he's just like, hey, what'd you guys think of the flowers that I, that I got from all of us? And I was like, they oh. point at the big ones. Yeah. I was like, which <laughs> ones are they? He's like, it's that heart one. I was like, Oh, and my sister leans over. He's like, yeah, what a fucking show off. I'm like, God damn it. My sister is just like told him that I called him she a fucking show off. I just you out. Dined me out. <laughs> and he's like, oh, OK. And then he walks up there and he comes back. And I'm just like, what would you just go do? He's like, oh, I just went and crossed your name off. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I died. I start laughing. Next thing I know, I'm choking on a mint. I had a mint. In my mouth. I started choking on it. I'm like dying. <laughs> Joe choking, choking on. like I'm about to die too. <laughs> like, choking, on a, room. <laughs> choking on a lifesaver that's about to injure us. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I try to make light of a bad situation. Yeah. You it's know. one of those tense moments where something like that just happens and you just kind of laugh. Well, what do you, you think know. about funerals? Do you think they should just always be sad? Uh, no, I hate it. I hate the sad part. I think the, I mean, it, you got to grieve your own way, and, but it should just be like something of a remembrance. Yeah. You should have a moment that is sad. But don't make it the whole day like a sad, dreary day. Exactly. You know, make, you know, do your thing, get your crying on, and then like go cook out or something or do something that this person would like to do. That's yeah. my opinion. We all got drunk and ate Kentucky fried chicken. <laughs> we loved fried chicken. The so we kernels. Were, it was great. Do you guys have a least famous recipe over there? They got it on Mm-mm. the east side of Illinois where my dad lives over uh, Danville. I don't think so. It's like fucking high end price now. Like it's not high end tur- chicken, but it's high price. Really? Yeah. Is it kind of like In and Out? Like it's fast food, but it's like <laughs> high end, like high price, but it's not like you know. Yeah, kind of like that. It's not yeah, that great. It's like a KFC without a drive through. You actually have to walk your little fucking concrete Cadillacs in there oh, and you geez. pick it up. But they have like overpriced shit. But like back in the day when I was a kid, it used to be so good. So that was like always like if you got that like back in the day, that was like a fucking treat. See, that's the. 
it's that's the one thing that I miss is like so we obviously didn't choose to live here in New Jersey. <laughs> no, we didn't. And when I like I was only home for like two or three days, but there was all these restaurants. That oh I was my just God. like, Fuck, dude. so I was just having this discussion like actually a couple times this week and the weekend actually. And uh, me and her were like talking about this shit and we were like, dude, they have all these great ratings out here, like all of these great ratings. And then you go eat the food, and you're like, what is so great about this? It's like a hit or miss. Yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> So we went the other day and got like this fucking breakfast at uh, it was like West Hampton Family Diner, which looks exactly what it sounds like, a little run, run down joint. And uh, it had pretty good reviews, you know, and I was like, old people aren't here? Maybe it's solid. <laughs> so we sat down, and I got, uh, <laughs> I got the worst. Well, it actually wasn't as bad as the other place with the scrapple, but I got this food, <laughs> and it come out not looking like what it was supposed to be. It was uh, supposed to be corned beef hash. And it, it was like come out looking like the consistency of putty and about this color is this water bottle. And oh, I, I, I broke off into it. Cause it's like, well, I'm paying good money for this. Gross. <laughs> it tasted <laughs> like beer salt. Dude, that's horrible. It is. That's the one. Yeah, see, that's the one thing I didn't miss about this place. Or that <laughs> I wasn't looking forward to coming back to. No, like, not at all. I tried. It's funny. Like, obviously, I was there during a sad moment, but like, I tried my damnness to eat at every possible place I could. Yeah. To get, like, Maybe so, that's your way of grieving. I yeah. tried really hard to get a horseshoe. That's like oh, a staple yeah. in the Midwest. Some people don't. Okay, so some people don't know what a horseshoe is. I'm going to explain it really quick. Break it off. It's, it's a piece of Texas toast. Uh, uh, Kentucky fried chicken, normally coated in like buffalo sauce, covered with a mound of crinkle fries. Has to be crinkle fries, and then it's covered in uh, queso, hot queso. It's only served with like some Tabasco or ranch. That's the ticket right there. And I'm telling you, pull out your cell phone and Google horseshoe or like Illinois horseshoe or something. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, don't just Google horseshoe because yeah. you're gonna get a fucking horseshoe. Wow, well, see you here. Goes for a class. Oh, well, that's cool. It's a horse's uh, fucking boot, chick. <laughs> you fucking eating shoes? <laughs> yeah, what about. <laughs> what an idiot. He's over oh, here eating a goddamn shoe. I had to make new friends while you were gone. What are you saying? You replaced me? No. I'll dude. go kiss somebody else. I had to make friends with the old ladies in the building because <laughs> I didn't have no one to hang out with. Yeah, so when I pulled up, I saw that. Uh, is she one of them? The lady, the that's, one that's, from that's, the last time that yeah. we walked up? <laughs> that's my main poop stain I talked to if I'm outside. <laughs> So if you've seen the other podcast, me and him, like, they're in the great fucking frozen tundra of death. Oh, yeah. We, we were coming back, and uh, she was a little old lady that was sitting outside smoking, and all we seen was a lit cigarette and some teeth and some eyeballs. It was so dark. We were like, what is that? <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. It's just the person. <laughs> <laughs> she's sweet. Yeah, she's, she's such awesome. a sweet old lady. So I was out there bullshitting with her, and we were bitching because, like, they just turned AC on here. Like Thursday. I don't know how you survived. How did you survive? I spent most of my time out there talking to the old wilderness. But, uh, dude, it was so hot. Like, I would be sitting over on my computer, and I'd be, like, in my boxers trying to play video games. And it's, dude, I was so I'd be cramming ice cubes in my butt. It was was horrible. Dude, it was, like, 85 in here for, like, a week. So they finally turned it on. But um, I was out there talking to her, like, the day or two before. And she was like, yeah, I met me a friend at church. And oh. I was like, oh, yeah? She's like, yeah, he's been trying to, he's been giving me the eye for like a year. And then he finally texted me on Facebook. And oh. I was like, oh, yeah, how'd yeah, that go? Yeah. She's like, oh, he's been over here twice this week. Mm, and I didn't get it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah? She, I was like, you guys do anything fun? She's like, yeah, but uh, I can't be on my knees like that anymore. I got to find a different <laughs> way. <laughs> So I was like, Man, you should invest in a really good rolly chair. And she's like, you know what? That's, I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> she, At least you know what to get her for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Some knee pads. <laughs> some fucking knee pads and Bengay. <laughs> yeah, she was, she's such a sweetheart. <laughs> she, yeah, she's she was, really nice. She's out there talking to us the other day. She's like, I'm a cougar. I like these young guys. She's like, I had this guy over here that was like 50. He would just try to stay a week. I had to put him out. So <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. What kind of friends are these? I got a it's question. Crazy. Have you ever encountered like an actual cougar, like a real life cougar, not not like someone who's an older woman who actually does like to sleep with younger men? I haven't encountered one, but I have a friend that tells me stories about one of his buddy's moms quite often. Really? Yeah, she's she's so. Rough. I actually encountered one. 
when I was 18. She was 42. <laughs> this is a story I'm going to tell you during our After Dark. Okay. It's got to be during our After Dark because there's some, there's some snippets to the story that... I'm not going to lie. I might fuck my life up a little bit, depending on who listens to it. <laughs> but I'm going to tell it. <laughs> they got to pay you for Patreon. I'm going to tell it. <laughs> I've, been, I've been debating on rather or not telling you. And she said something uh, on Facebook the other day that kind of pissed me off. So What, like a post? Mm-hmm. Oh. It was really stupid, and it pissed me off. So now I'm just going to dime her out. <laughs> <laughs> Petty. I know. Petty. Fuck it. It's all I good. don't care. <laughs> So, okay, so we haven't actually, like, seen and talked to each other in, like, two weeks. Like, what the fuck have you been up to? <sighs> you know what I've been up to. I've yeah. been quarantined. Yeah, I've been... Beat so- my wang, playing video games. <laughs> I've been trying to save my career. <laughs> oh, man. But that's water into the bridge. I won. You know, I feel like... I'm gonna take well, I didn't win. Thirsty. I didn't win, but I won. <laughs> you know what I mean? We stalemated. It's not the battles. It's the war. I'm winning the war. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's nothing serious, but it, when you put it that way, it gives intrigue. Yeah. No, I've just been fucking working my ass off, trying to, I don't know, wait for this summer to come up so we can go fishing and do some cool shit. And then yeah. try to, well, I've been trying to play some new video games, actually, but fucking, it just seems like fucking everything, just like, I don't know, boring to me. There needs to needs, Needs to be something cool coming out. There's that Harry Potter game coming I out. I know. I'm waiting on that. I it mean, was supposed to come out this year. I know. It got delayed. I, do you know? Oh, I fucking hate it when things get delayed. And it, it like when it's due to COVID. Yeah. Oh. Well, a lot of movies that are, were supposed to be out or even later this year, they're getting pushed back until next year. I know. Because they're like, oh, I went to box office sales. Like, bitch, push that, put that shit on HBO Max. I paid good money for that. They have been putting out some good movies on yeah, HBO Max. Been. They have been. Yeah. But when like, I hear shit like that, so you like... Because of COVID, not because yeah. the game broke. I don't turn into Hulk. I turn into Kyle. Like, I'm putting holes in my <laughs> fucking cramming monsters up my ass and putting holes in the wall. <laughs> just, don't, <laughs> just don't hurt the puggles. <laughs> these are, these are, no, of course not. That's yeah. nobility right just there. That beautiful baby. Dude, I watched that movie you put me on on Netflix. Dude, when she's trying to train the dog oh. to look straight. <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, I died. Oh I died God. laughing. Oh, Holy shit, man. that was a good... My daughter loved the yeah. shit out of it. I told you it was really good for the family, but it was hilarious. Yeah, I I was a little hesitant on it because I was, was like... The, the Mitchells versus the machines? Or mm-hmm. something. <laughs> when they did the monkey part at the beginning with yeah. the dad, I was just kind of like... Oh, but I don't know if I'm gonna like this. So I stuck with it, yeah. but dude, dude, it was funny, wasn't it? Oh, I died. <laughs> that was so fucking funny. <laughs> He's got that certain fucking the specific screwdriver. screwdriver. The He's like, but who has that? I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> like, dude, that show is too funny. I didn't even hear anything about it. I just seen it was like Netflix number one, and I'm a child, so I was like, number one in America, animated movie. Yes, bro, bro. Do you know what's coming on Netflix at the end of this month? Ragnarok. Wait, have you seen that yet? Have you seen that Netflix series, the German one, Ragnarok? Mm-mm. Oh, th- dude, th- oh, get on Netflix. Watch Ragnarok. I feel like I'm missing something in life. You need to watch it. It's like it's like real life version of Thor. Like the kid's like a descendant. Well, yeah. he's not Thor. He's a descendant of Thor. Oh, like present day? Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. So okay, so it's voiced over though because it's a foreign film or it's a foreign show. Yeah. It's not that bad though. That's okay. It's really good. I mean, well, you watch anime, so yeah, I do. Wouldn't mind. Nah, but it's oh, we'll get through this, dude. I'm so excited. It looks so good. I can't wait. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get that excited. No, that. <laughs> fuck. We all got interest. Also, uh, mentioning the fishing, I don't know why this sprung in my head, but fucking over by Earl, they have a like a pier now. It goes like 2.6 miles out in the ocean, so you can deep sea fish off of it. They used to arm nuclear warheads on submarines out there, and now you can go fishing off of it. Where's this at? Uh, it's at Weapon Station Earl. That's uh, Tom's River. Oh, yeah, no, I remember we were talking about going over to Tom's River. Yeah. I don't want to fish around here anymore. It fucking sucks. Yeah, I know. Can't catch anything. It's about as good as the food. Some dude was bragging about how good the fishing was like around here, and I was like, well, where are you fishing? He's like, over by my house. There's this creek. It's great. I was like, what have you been catching? A bluegill. <laughs> He's been catching our bait. <laughs> like, what the f- what the fuck, man? That's like bragging about having a lot of sex with women, and it's like, well, where are you, you know, where are you getting your game at? Oh, the hookers down the street. 
Wow. <laughs> Are you even bragging? Oh, man. But he's like, look at this big bluegill. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> uh, you like football? No. No? But you know you know how uh, this area's got a huge presence of Eagle fans? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They made, they you, made a movie about it. Yeah. Mark oh, yeah. Wahlberg. Yeah. You know what I've noticed, though? I don't understand why you need two different forms of identity to tell everyone that you're a retard. Because these people have Philadelphia Eagle license plate and then an eagle up in their window and then an <laughs> a, a eagle decal around their license plate. <laughs> you do see a lot of eagle fans walking yeah. around. And then I, when I see them driving, I'm always like, "Yep, it makes sense." It makes it's sense. like, it's like you can't like you can't walk. So you ever heard of the? You're from Indiana, so you ever heard of the uh, the Bears versus the Green Bay Packers? Mm-hmm. That little dispute. Yep. Yeah, you can't walk around Chicago or Springfield wearing like a Green Bay, <laughs> no. a fucking Green Bay jersey. You get your ass beat. <laughs> I never understood that. It's a shirt. It's a fucking. It's sport. a colored shirt. It's a sport. Like I could wear a green jersey with nothing on it, just a green jersey and a number. No one would say shit. But the minute you put GB on it. Whoop his ass! <laughs> get him, go get his ass! <laughs> You're fucking running down the road. Fuck! <laughs> we'll be looking like we chasing that dog down the beach, man. Oh my god! So I didn't believe you when you told me that because I just couldn't imagine your ass fucking running. And then I started thinking about it more and more, and I was just like, "What a sight that would have been!" <laughs> like, you would have seen a lot of meat moving. <laughs> <laughs> just freaking booking it down the beach. Oh, well, I wasn't really booking it because there was like, I was barefoot. There's seashells everywhere. And then they had like shit like that growing out on parts of it. And they were like needles. These, so my feet were getting tore up in, in like non packed sand. You can't really run fast regardless. Yeah. But this dog could. And it was just. Whew, the dog's floating on there. Three miles later, <laughs> and had to walk that little bastard back. Like, yeah, we'll get another one. Okay. And and here's the here's the thing that made it so bad. I was like almost completely done with the biggest Sonic root beer float you could get. Oh, I had about like this much I left, in your and stomach. I was loaded up. So by the time, dude, after like the first mile, I puked. I oh yeah, it all up, and I was like, all right, I'm good to go. I would have done the same. I probably would have yeah. done after like half. And a then mile. It, it pissed us off because like a bunch of us are chasing this dog, right? And there's this little old fucking lady, like, walking through the path, and the dog's literally right next to her. All she has to do is, like, this. Grab the dog. So we're yelling, hey, grab the dog, grab the dog, grab the dog. This is, like, a mile and a half in. Like, it would have saved us so much more time. She looks at the dog, looks at us, and then just keeps walking. And we're like, yo, what the fuck? Like, fuck you, man. What the hell is wrong with you? I don't know. And then a mile, like, four, fucking an hour later, we finally get the dog. You go to our hometown, you got a dog who gets out, grab the dog, you got the whole neighborhood out there chasing that fucking dog. <laughs> There's yeah. like no common courtesy around here. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. No. Unless you pull up to a stop sign. Then there's so much common courtesy. And I think it's just because people don't know how a fucking stop sign works. Oh God, you pull up to a stop sign, so it'll go them, you. And then they're and flashing they're just... at you. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> You're... Like... All right, you're I'll just get... confusing the fuck out of me. Or they'll just they'll pull up second, and you'll be going in and almost t-bone you, and you're like, "Yeah, like what the fuck?" And your car end up looking like mine, dude. I threw a thing on Facebook, no shit, like a guideline how a stop sign works, because <laughs> I almost got clipped. But I fucking I stopped this person, and as they stopped, I started to go, and then they went. And I was like, dude, like what the fuck? Oh, like just goodness. be patient, just wait. I drive a clutch, like. Give me a second. Yeah. Like, let me get my gear in. Like, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> I'm not Holy trying to hammer shit. down the fucking gas and pop the clutch and fucking <laughs> burn. Fucking oh, Tokyo man. drifting. Oh, I know. It's uh, retarded. Anything else exciting happening since you came back? Um. Well, you mentioned fishing, and it reminded me of uh, being in Wisconsin. There was this little... Wisconsin? F- Wisconsin. Did a whole lot of fishing in Wisconsin. Fishing cheese kids. Beer. The cheese state. Cheese state. State. Am I saying that right? State. Dude, that place probably smells like a lot of fucking farts. Wisconsin? Yeah. No, dude. It's like, uh... Although like, woodsy. I bet, but there's a lot, it's of, everywhere. There's a lot of cheese. Yeah, if you go into, like, like Madison, yeah. 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 Uh, or Green, Green Bay. Bay. Yeah, you gotta get the population. Yeah. But, no, we stay in this, like, little, like, fucking populous of 2,000 kind of, like, town. But, uh, I remember... It, all, it used to always piss me off because it always seems like... The guy with a big pole, 
thick line and it sounds kind of dirty. <laughs> the guy with the big pole and a huge none lure. Of that in this house. He's out there fishing, right? And he's catching these, you know, these little bad boys. He got his little kid with a fucking Buzz Lightyear pole. Oh, he got the biggest fish in the pond. Catches the biggest fish, catches a fifty like a fifty inch fucking muskie, and you're just like you spent like a hundred dollars on this fishing pole, and yeah. you spent like ten. That's like the fish of a like a ten thousand cast or something like that. Yeah, call it. yeah. Mm-hmm. He gets a trophy. He gets it on a fucking little buzz air, buzz light ear pole, a small little hook, and a freaking worm. And you're just like, what am I doing with my? Sometimes life? it's the most simplest things. That's why when we go fishing Tom's River, we're gonna have our poles, and then I'm gonna have a Buzz Lightyear pole set up. Dude, get a dock demon. What the heck's a dock demon? So it's like the size of a Buzz Lightyear pole. It's little, but dude, it, you can literally fold it in half and it won't break. No, it's shit. for like fishing on docks and stuff. Like people catch Goliath groupers with them and I shit. I think you sent something like that to me on Facebook. Yeah, I think probably you sent a, me a link long. For it. Time. Yeah, dude, they're strong. Really? Yeah, dude, they literally collapse in half. I can't imagine catch pulling something in on that though, because the pole's length helps oh deal with the fish it, it adds to the excitement when you're reeling in a hammerhead shark off of the pier <laughs> or the beach <laughs> yeah dude <laughs> that fucking thing breaks <laughs> look out smack fucking smack yourself in the damn top of the forehead you come looking like this joker <laughs> <laughs> oh, some fucking lights out that would suck that would suck I've been hit with a pole. Actually, have oh. you ever gotten a hook hooking you? Oh, a lot of times. What are you retarded? No, <laughs> no. Like I catch a bass and a treble hook just goes right through your finger. That happened to my dad when I was a kid. Like really? one of the worst ones I've seen. He uh, caught a bass, and it, it wasn't even a big one, but he was feisty. It started shaking, and I think he had a crankbait on, and the treble hook went straight through this finger, up through the nail, and then like out like another side. No shit. So he like popped the fish off. And, like, my mom was, like, freaking out. And I'm like, oh, crap. And he just throws the fish back, busts out his little leather man. He's like, pulls it out, puts a new hook on there. He's like, <laughs> whips it right back out there. Keeps going. He's like, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> fuck it. Yeah. Dude, I got a hook in the head once. <laughs> in the head? Yes. Yeah, so, you know, open face, you know, you got to push, you got to push the button. Mm-hmm. And then you let go of the line. And then you stop the line when it hits the water. Um, so my dad isn't the best. Yeah, I should have saved that for when he came <laughs> He just on. dimed you out. Yeah, sorry. Congratulations on being on the show. I should have waited for you. Yeah, he's coming in in, in a week or two. But uh, no, he forgot to push the button. And he fucking slinged it back. <laughs> went forward. And it was supposed good. to go over my yeah. head, but it went into my head. The hook did. Right there. Mm-hmm. That's all. Awesome. It didn't. It wasn't. A, it wasn't a barbed hook. So it was just kind of like a. Oh, you're good. Yeah, You'll be yeah, all right. Yeah. Walk it off, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I got another fishing story about him. I'll save for when he's actually on the show. Oh, that's great. Yeah, my crooked middle finger. <laughs> Which one? I got a crooked middle finger. Holy yes. shit. <laughs> that's his fault. <laughs> oh yeah, put that down on the resume. <laughs> put on the Twitter. All the terrible stories. No, dude, I can't wait for him to come on because he's that's a correction gonna, officer. Oh, that's going to be a good people, one. Like inmates who are like on death row. Oh, that's going to be a good one. He's got some stories. <laughs> I like stories. We, we, need some, <laughs> we need some crazy shit. Yeah, we're going to roast him. Like, we're going to make fun of him a lot. I can't wait. Because he <laughs> takes it so well. It's great. He, come, he fires right back. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> he's going to be built for this show. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. It'll be like the the best official <laughs> guess we've had. <laughs> Holy shit, man. I'm looking for That was uh, the first one. But that's unofficial. That bitch don't talk. <laughs> you are the father. I've been watching a lot of Maury. Yeah, <laughs> I, said, I, just, I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. I'm watching daytime TV on ROM. Just for whatever reason. I just feel like I just think it's funny. The drama, it's funny. It's so mean. <laughs> People are just like so animated. It's the they're always consoling the woman, and it's like, she's been here for the 11th paternity test. Mm-hmm. None of them, obviously. There's these two horrible. chicks they, accusing I think they this one dude of being the father. So this girl had a child. This girl had a child. And they're like, he's the father. He's like, no, the fuck I ain't. And, <laughs> and so they do the paternity test, and he's like, he is not the father. He is not the father. He's like, yeah, I knew that. I'm fucking, I'm sterile. <laughs> I had a vasectomy 10 years ago. 
<laughs> these chicks, man, they just fucking died. They just ran like they were bigger women. They just ran around the the studio. Oh. Oh, they had the cardio for that. Oh, my God. They're so animated. I think it's fucking hilarious. Is that show still on? Like, new ones? I can't tell. I don't know. They all just blur together. The shit, the the video quality, kind of like this podcast, sucks. (laughs) So you don't know. (laughs) I can't tell if I'm watching a new episode or an old episode. I think we got the same production assistant that works for (laughs) here. I have no clue. Dude, I remember there was a kid uh, when I used to get a little wild in college. There's this guy. He fucking... I don't know, like, someone was like, hey, do you remember such and such name? And I was like, yeah, why? He's like, oh, he was on Jerry Springer the other day. So I thought it was a fucking lie, so I pulled it up. And there he was sitting there, like, all fucking tweaked out because he was, like, fell off on some drugs, like pills. And he's all over there, zanny barred out. Oh, and he's like, Jerry's saying something. He's like, I like to party, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was like, I thought Jerry. He was- that was the shit. They would fight each other on Jerry. Yeah. They don't do that. <laughs> you ever no. see the ones where they had the people about my height that were like this tall? Yeah. And they were just like, <laughs> that one, the one little guy got kept getting pushed around and he was like crawl, crawling on his hands and nubs. Yeah. And they were just still going at it. Jesus it, Christ. It's what a circus. Can't do that now. Everybody gets offended. Yeah. They took my fucking side hustle away. <laughs> you know, now that they're opening up restrictions, I can go back to popping out of cupcakes at bachelorette parties. Yeah, I need to get on that. That sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, have a cake. Indeed, I'm telling you about this big. You just come out of there in a banana hammock. That sounds great. You, you can't I even see that. it because it's all gut. I wonder, like... It's a great gag gift. I wonder, like, <laughs> how it feels to be one of those people. Just, like, you just... Now. Is waiting for your cue. Now. In a fucking hammock. Like, now. <laughs> Now, <laughs> what if you missed your cue and they're just sitting there like tapping? Anybody in there? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fall asleep. Oh my god! You know, I'm so glad they're lifting all these COVID restrictions. At least like in this area for us, we can actually. I know. I feel like I haven't done anything. Go in a on long adventures. Time. Hopefully, this will open up some of these sweet museums and some of these places we went to Philadelphia and tried to, you know, venture into that said they were open, and then you show up to the door, and it's fucking closed. Yeah, I almost want to give up on it. That's well, here's the thing. I was listening to, like, the sports radio, and for whatever reason, the one in the morning when I'm going to work, they'll cover some topics that are kind of serious, too, and obviously the Pennsylvania governor is like, oh, by Memorial Day, we're just going to open up, but you have to wear a mask and do all that stuff, which I'm fine with. You know, I don't have mm-hmm. no problem with that. And then... This doctor that's in charge of Philly was like, oh, no, no, we're not going to do any of that. We're going to keep it the way it is and all that. So I don't even know if they're going to open up. I hope they do. New Jersey is, which means I'm going to the fucking arcade in North Jersey. Well, we are. Yeah. Because that's going to be sick. Yeah, I don't want to go to that fucking Dave & Buster's again. No. No, this place is like retro games. You pay by the hour. That'd be fun. I would enjoy that. Yeah. I haven't played yeah, it. like fucking Blitz, Blitz and all that good shit. Mm-hmm. Pac Man, the the fucking classics. I started playing RuneScape. You did? Yeah, well, I just downloaded it actually, right over there. I don't know why. I didn't even know that game existed until you told me. I was like, "You having a fucking stroke? You misremembering, dude? Are you sixteen now? I know. <laughs> it, it's like you start to age backwards. I've noticed, like, like when you're in your 20s or before you hit 20, you're like, I want a house, I want kids, I want to get married, I want all this. And then by the time you're 30, you're just like, I want to play Mario Kart and fucking. <laughs> I, I downloaded the Super Nintendo in N64 <laughs> emulator the other day. <laughs> just fucking go back to being a kid. Yeah. I'll give anything to go back to being a kid. <sighs> My birthday's in two weeks and I'm just getting older. How old are you turning? 31. That's not bad. No, it's not. But <laughs> the way my back feels. You're supposed to be in your prime. I'm you're in, in my prime. You're in your prime. I think I'd be in a little better prime without COVID. I need to start working out more. COVID's taken a lot of time away. It has. Anything. But I've actually been eating healthier now with the Hello Fresh and shit like that. So it's kind of like. The fuck is Hello Fresh? Bro, Hello Fresh. You gotta is get it like those frozen meals? No, they're fresh. They actually come fresh in like a fucking big ass box. Well, it depends on how many meals you get. I'll actually give you a card. I got a free one. I'll really? give it to you. But uh, it comes in a box, and then it's got your like, produce on top, and below that it's got like your meat between like two big ass fucking ice packs. Do they deliver on base? Oh, they probably yeah. do. We yeah. just went to Bravo. Yeah, they, they deliver everywhere. They're, uh, they're out of Newark. 
that's where they're at. So like come in here, I've even gotten them a day early. Like I got so far behind, like my weekends have been so busy. I've gotten so far behind. I haven't cooked. So I had to like skip two weeks, but like it's dope. And then it gives you this chart like this big. And it literally gives you everything. You might need like a pan or obviously a skillet and stuff, but like, you might need like a baking pan or something, but it'll give you like all your spices. Um, if you have like certain fucking condiments that come with it, like barbecue sauce, stuff like it gives you everything. And you just follow the steps. That's really cool. And now, like, all the stuff comes from, like, f- like a farmer's market, basically, mm-hmm. the produce. So it's, like, real good shit. Dude, that just reminds me. about to cook some after this show. <clears throat> that reminded me of... Uh, they should sponsor us. Hello Fresh. Hello. No, dude, I want to get sponsored by something, like, some dildo company. <laughs> some some the- lube. <laughs> after dark. That'd be fun. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the fuck was it? Uh, Norm McDonald used to be sponsored by these, like, they were called Man Greats. And it was this giant cast iron, like, George Foreman. <laughs> no one ever bought it. And he would just be, like, selling it up, like, as a gag, basically. And then he had a, <laughs> then another one that was pretty funny. Bill Burr had one that was called Cherry's Berries. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. And he would just... <laughs> That's what he said too. He got like midway through the promo and then he started laughing and just started roasting it and they like pulled the sponsorship and he's like, I just really enjoyed saying that. <laughs> Cherry berries. I'm going to see something behind you. Look a little moist. Freaking me out, man. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> Look, Nick Cage. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> don't, I don't think I forgot about him. Uh, no, I was uh, thinking about Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. My God. Thinking about the uh, what to cook my wife for Mother's Day. That's going to be a uh, treat. Dude, so my wife, so, okay, so I'm at the point where I just like, I don't want to guess anymore. Let me just ask you what you want. You tell me what you want. I'll get it. It's simple, right? It's easy. <laughs> like, tell me, like. Until they're indecisive and don't know what they want. So, check it out. So, I asked her, I was like, hey, is there anything you want Funko, for Mother's Day? Funko Pop. Anything. I don't care. I'll get it. As long as it's not, like, overly expensive, I'll get it. She sends me this text that says, all I want is to spend time with family. It's like, well, let me put on my decipher goggles. It says. It's a trap. It says, figure it out, dick. <laughs> <laughs> Do yeah. something romantic. Yeah, you got to fucking break out the fucking, the works, man. I know. You got to cook her something good. Men are so easy, man. <laughs> what do you think I want for Father's Day? <laughs> I want a steak. <laughs> and some silence. <laughs> We're so fucking easy. Why can't it be that easy? Oh, man. Like, I've been having people ask me what I want for my birthday. And I'm just like, I don't Dude, I don't know. Like, a gift card. Maybe some socks. I don't fuck, I don't know, man. Like, because if I need anything or I want anything, generally, I just buy it. So, that's like. That's, I wish we were back in Texas because there's this company uh, where you can yeah. order. You can send someone a potato <laughs> with a really vulgar, mean note. Like, you're a piece of shit asshole just a just a potato i would turn that into french fries like i'll get you a bag of dicks or my buddy did that yeah <laughs> he said that's a good buddy <laughs> he uh he, i should have known something was up he just fucking was like hey what's your address so i was like all right this is what it is such and such virginia and then he uh he's like a week goes by i forgot about this and he's like hey man you check your mail i was like i haven't checked my mail in like two days i don't really get mail like that he's like go check your mail oh, lol and i'm like motherfucker <laughs> so i waddle on down the stairs you know like a little penguin and then at my mailbox for whatever reason there, okay this is, this is my building right <laughs> it's like seven feet yeah, the- listen to this <laughs> listen to this so this is my building there's a mailbox here right you think my mailbox would be in that one right no it's a quarter mile this way so i had to go through the middle of the complex i fucking get over there and open it and then it, it's barely even fit in there there's a box in there i'm like I'm not opening this right here, so. <laughs> so I grabbed it and like some spam mail, and I go back and I set it down on my coffee table, and I text him like, "Hey, I went to the mail, I got some box." He's like, "Open it, ha ha." Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, "Okay." So <laughs> I open it, and there is a a bag of dicks. <laughs> it was a bag of dicks, gummy dicks, and then it had peppermints. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you it. Oh, man. I still got on Instagram. Okay, but, like, be honest. I never opened them. You didn't eat any of them. I just kept them on my uh, on my coffee table, and when people would come over, they'd be like, 
looking at like, oh, you got some gummies, and they're looking at me just some dicks. <laughs> you ever seen that video? Of those people who blindfold that dude, and they got the gummy. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. They got the the gummy the gummy dick. The guy's blindfolded. Oh, he's like, yeah, he's, like, he's sitting there. I know what it is. Let me keep tasting it. Dude, how do women do that? Jesus. (laughs) It's not that big. (laughs) (laughs) I've heard that a few times. Yeah. (laughs) That's porn's fault, man. Oh, Oh, that's that's after dark. Angles. Say that for after dark. (laughs) We're breaking into some conversations. I think we just got a lot of... I think we just got a lot of messed up shit to talk about, and we know we can't talk about it on this one. I really can't talk about a whole lot right now. <laughs> this is a unpaid show. Yeah, that's true. No, I'm trying to get paid. Let's put a hole so, in the wall with my bionic elbow. Yeah, you fucked the poster up. I think it just ruined the tape. No, that's good. Good job. Proud of you. Don't be a dick. But uh, I thought about setting up like a donation thing. Would that be extra? I don't like, think so. Like, because I see do- people set up like GoFundMe's for like retarded uh, shit. But like, if we're trying to like produce something, like cons, like fucking uh, this pay- shit's not cheap. No, they got like PayPal and all these. Other- yeah, this stuff, dude. It, the audio recorder alone costs us a grip. I want to be. I'm going to say something. Some people keep bringing up that the audio is not matching up with the video. If I had a hundred dollars to spend, I would get a better editing software. But I have to work with what I got. It's not perfect, but it's the best I can fucking do. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. <laughs> Just got a text. You want to read it? Sure. That's a nice butthole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I wish. All right. All right. Been 37 minutes. <laughs> we got another 23 to go. Yeah. I don't even know what to talk about. Oh, we got plenty. I got a list. You got a list? Yeah. Well, look at your fucking look at your fucking list. Dude. Oh shit, that's Fire TV. That ain't the right one. I got something. I got something I want to bitch about. So when I was flying back from Springfield, I stopped in uh Charlotte. And uh what the fuck? Did you do that? Was that you? No. <laughs> what uh, the fuck? It's... <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? No, that was me. That was you? I accidentally opened the Fire TV app. I just opened it and closed it and went to notes. And then the fucking TV turned on. Well, no, the Fire Cube. So that's advanced technology. I, guess Dude, I started freaking out. I did too. I was just sitting there like... <laughs> Bro, your house is haunted. And then look, we got devil all the time right there. Yeah, they opened uh, Burlington Jail. It's open now. Oh yes, I'm oh, so ready to go. There's to actually that. a mansion. I found a mansion on Google that you can do haunted tours. Like you can go over there at night and like where, where try to piss off some ghosts. I don't know. It's like 20 minutes away. I don't know exactly where it's at. I'm yeah, not. Well, I don't care. I don't. I'm not taking the time to learn. <laughs> you hear that ghost? I heard <laughs> ding. <laughs> like hello. <laughs> Well, I'm not taking the time to land this area. I see some fucking teeth over there. That's Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> we got house guests. We got friends. Yeah. He's nice, though. He does some weird things. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't even know why that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Ooh, some real nice things. So, so I'm coming back from from <laughs> from Illinois. I don't know, so... What the fuck was that? I had to get it together. Get it together, fam. I lost my shit. That, that, does, does, that does not take much. Stutter and Stanley over here. That does not take much. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I lost mean, I lost my mind on... On the flight? Or no, no, no. At the airport? At the airport. I had a four-hour layover. <sighs> oh, Jesus. So I had During to leave... COVID? I, yeah. I had to leave at like four... Who the fuck's flying into New Jersey? Idiots. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, mirror, I freaking, uh, I had to get up at like 4 a.m. to make my flight and then I landed and nothing was open to like eat like anything good. 
So by the time something finally did open, I was fucking starving. So I went and got me some food. And I went, I found like my own little box, my own little location, so I could pull the mask down and eat my food. Oh, you got to eat through your mask now, dude. What are you talking about? Yeah. That's, oh, I guess I didn't get the fucking memo. <laughs> because I'm sitting there enjoying the fuck out of my pizza burrito or whatever. It's like a pizza wrap. I'm enjoying the hell out of it. And this fucking, he doesn't even work at the airport. Has the nerve to come up to me and say, hey. When you're done with that, you got to put your mask back on. Really? Are you sure? <laughs> We've been doing this for a year. I'm I pretty can't, sure. I can't leave it down? Are you sure? You look like a fucking ancient court jester. <laughs> no, so. <laughs> okay, so, so what'd you do? You so kiss, you I'm sitting him? there eating it, and I hear it. Mm-hmm. Like, he says that to me. He's like, hey, when you're done, you need to put your mask. He didn't even say, hello, sir. He just said, hey, when you're done, you need to put your mask back up. And I'm sitting in one of those seats where it's just like. Back to back. So you got seats here and seats here. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting there I'm eating and I'm just like, are you talking to me? And he's like, yeah, when you're done eating that, I need you to put your mask back up. I was like, yeah, maybe. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> and I kept eating. <laughs> oh, my God. And then he was just like, no, I'm serious. Like, when you're done eating, you need to put that back. I was like, all right, can you, like, fuck off? Like, I'm hungry. Like. <laughs> was it like a, a old dude or something? Young dude? No, I don't know. Like, probably middle-aged. Just some random, I don't think, they might have worked at the airport. I don't know. There was no badge, no uniform. I don't know who the fuck he was. He was in, like, khakis and, like, a fucking polo. Yeah, he didn't work there. And I'm just, like, Maybe one of the like, stores. It was funny. What's even funnier is when he repeated himself, when you're done eating that, put your mask back up. Oh, that's the best. <laughs> Let's sit there, I'm going to chastise you, and then I'm going to. Cough COVID all over your fucking face. Mm -hmm. Put this back up and then proceed to walk away. But it's just like, what went through this person's head that he felt the need to come up to a person who's eating and remind them to put their mask back up Uh, as if it's not fucking everywhere? Yeah. Is this like it's not obvious? Yeah. Like, obviously, I'm going to pull it back up. I'm fucking vaccinated. I still have the courtesy to fucking put my mask on because if I want to go anywhere, I got to. Like, it's, it's like fucking having your wallet nowadays. You have to have it. It makes you wonder. It makes you. <laughs> There's this. So. I want to laugh. There's this person. <laughs> There's this person. Okay. And uh, I can't say who it is. Oh, but my God. You got to tell me. I never lying. met. I've never met this person. And meet. I seen their face, right? This part of their face because they had the mask on. And, you know, it's like they look like a normal human being. I think I, I might have told you about this, but they I look like so. a normal human being. But when they pull, he, he pulled the mask down. Like, I think this guy's normal. He pulls the mask down, and he's like, oh, hee-haw. <laughs> and the fucking mouth, like, missing teeth. Like, <laughs> like, really bad. Like, he's like, dude, it looks totally normal. But as soon as he pulls that mask down, it's just like, whoa, <laughs> what the fuck? I've seen someone. I've it's, seen like, a, not symmetrical. I've seen him a few times. But <laughs> it looked the same, same, same setup up here. Dude, it's like an ultimate catfish. So, he's, you know, they got that, and, like, they seem like a normal person. They're a great person or whatever. And then they, they pulled that mask down, and I thought there was a fucking snapping turtle on the other end of me. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a fucking alligator snapper. I was like, oh, I, was like I did not think that's what you look like. Remember that game where, like, you have, like, it's, like, sectioned into three, and you can, like swipe to yep. change it up that's how it is it's like you got normal and then it's just like <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck <laughs> you're missing teeth bro it's like you set the eyes on the, like a creative character and then the bottom is like oh random <laughs> yeah <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get <laughs> that works right there <laughs> i'm uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry babe i'm sorry so that's a second i just gotta apo- time i think you've i gotta that. apologize now so i episodes. went out with a friend I went out with her. So after the funeral, we all got really drunk and ate Kentucky Fried Chicken. And a really good friend of mine hit me up and was just like, hey, I know you're in town for long, but you want to go hang out? I was like, sure. Like, I'd love to. So we went to the bar down the road. He had to come pick me up because I was fucking wasted. (laughs) And we sat at the bar and I got some food because I was fucking trying to sober up a little bit. And there was this girl working (laughs) in the bar. And she was like, like, she had a mask on. And I was like, you know, I noticed she was... uh, very good looking girl. Okay. Up and she here. comes 
Yeah, up here. Well, everywhere. It looked great. And then uh, she came to take the order, and she pulled her mask down to, like, take my order. And I was like, <laughs> yikes. I never realized how much in a person's mouth I am until the mask comes down. What now in the way is that? Yeah, like, what the? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> north, <laughs> uh, south. Dude, it, is. <laughs> it was really bad when I was home for leave when I, before I transferred here. I mean, like. Fuck, they, half the people didn't wear masks, but the ones that did, you see them like, I like the people watch. I'm fucking degenerate. I don't know why. I just like get bored and like walk, look around, watch people do stupid shit, pick their nose and eat it. And, uh, yuck. I've seen that several times. You ever like people just, watch and you like try to make up that person's life story? All the time. <laughs> it's so much fun. Oh, me and a guy in the shop at work will just like make up stories about people and we'll just bounce off of each other. And he's like, he's probably doing this. And I'm like, oh, he's probably doing that. And it'll be like something you couldn't even see this person doing. You just create this dude's whole life story and yeah. he doesn't even know. He doesn't or even know. Her. It. Doesn't even know it. Sometimes I do it just because I feel like being an asshole. <laughs> like I give them a really messed up story. Yeah, give them something shitty like a. Uh, yeah, that guy probably fucking fired executive for Google. <laughs> He's living in a brothel down by the river. Over there by that Dave and Buster's that charges fifteen fucking dollars to park. I'm never letting that go. I'm never letting that go. I know. Not for Dave and Buster's. I got an easy pass. I forgot to tell you. That. Finally. I know I stepped up in the world. This motherfucker's been getting tolls in the mail that are sixty dollars because first notice. Oh, it's late. Sorry, we didn't oh, get it for to you. The admin fee. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't get it to you before you went through the toll. Yeah, it's. I don't. I don't understand why you need a toll to go fucking anywhere. 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 Oh, like I understand having those like toll roads that are like really long. You know, mm -hmm. going from like here to like New York, but like from here to Philadelphia. Really? Yeah, I don't get that. I'm already paying enough in gas. Like, and it's. What the fuck? It's like 25 minutes from where I live. And then you got to pay a cover charge to get into it. And then trying to navigate that swamp of a city. And then trying yeah. to find parking because the roads are this fucking narrow. They're two-way two, two -way roads, but, like, your car can't fit through them. Yeah. And it's just... But, like, they punish you if you don't have an easy pass. Because then it's like, okay, this is a dollar seventy-five with an easy pass. But without, like, five bucks. Yeah. And you're just like... What the fuck? And then, like, the admin fees we were just bitching about. The and city's so spotty, too. You ever notice that? Yeah. It's real spotty. spotty. It's like, it's like you know, when you go anywhere, it's like, oh, that's the good part. That's the bad part. You don't know. You go through good part, bad part, good part, bad part. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, because we, we, we was trying to get back on the road to get back here, I think, for the fights or something that one time, the Dave and Buster's night, or mm -hmm. maybe... To go meet up with someone. I don't fucking that night that. where the GPS fucked me up. Yeah, big time See, it had us fucking go down this road like this, and then we could have took a right right here, which would have just put us right on the path. But mm -hmm. we kept going, and it's like bust a bitch here and hit this fucking death pothole that almost totaled your car. Come back around. Well, actually, we missed this, the right initially wanted, and then we go up and turn around and come back. We go past that one. And then we go to that one first right we would have made. Yeah. And then it took us into this place. And the area we were in wasn't bad, but it wasn't nice because, I mean, it's fucking Philly. And then we go down these places and it's like, all of a sudden, these fucking nice-ass townhouses. Yeah. We're just like, what, what the hell happened? <laughs> we, <did. laughs> we go up another block and we're fucking in, like, the trap. And then we go up another block to get on the highway, and it's like nice again. Really, you like warp speed. You fucking. It's like what, the, the developer <laughs> just skipped this little section right here. He's like, ah, oh, fuck, someone will get we it. Someone will get it. Some fucking retard on our roof, freaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, ghetto, <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's like, it's mentioning tolls is crazy because I had to go uh, while you're gone. I had to go to Newburgh again with one of the the new kids. And, like, geez, I've noticed this. Like, I've been up there a few times just in Newburgh, New York. The whole fucking trip is just tolls after tolls after tolls after tolls. There's so many. Especially once you get up around the city. Dude, I don't know how the fucking command pays for that shit. Jesus Christ. They're like, okay, you got to go get this part. And then they're paying fucking $300 in tolls to get up there. And then you got to come back through them. No shit. So it's, like, probably, like, $100 up there and $100 back, actually. See, that's, like, one of the reasons why I don't want to fucking go anywhere. Just that. Yeah. That's the only reason. Like, I don't want to pay all this money just to drive 30 minutes from my house. 
Like, I don't. I should have picked a more eco-friendly car. <laughs> <laughs> no shit, dude. But, like, the place I was telling you about with the arcade and stuff, you don't, we ain't going to need tolls for that. No, you said it's like 20 minutes, right? It's like 20 minutes from you. Probably from you. It's like 40 for me, but probably 20 minutes from you. Yeah, if you stay, yeah, as long as you stay within, like. But here's the thing that fucking pisses me off. So you'll have I-95, which is a toll road. Next to it, 295, non-toll road. Going the same way. You, like, see each other. Oh, I know. Yeah, so no, like, it doesn't make I'm any over sense. here not paying the tolls. You could be over here fucking flipping me off. Like, yeah, I got the better deal, bitch. <laughs> and I'm looking over here like, enjoy a $60 admin fee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enjoy that fucking little ticket in the mail. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my God. And then I fucking see they're going to try to rebuild up Atlantic City, too. Really? Yeah. I want to go back. I feel like I feel like we didn't get the full scope of it. No, we stayed We're in one, one spot. section. Which Plus, wasn't bad. I still want to check out, you know, that one spot. <laughs> yeah, I know a guy that has an inside source to the, that location that might give us a sweet fucking get up on some video games. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know him too, but <laughs> you don't know the inside scoop. <laughs> He's got all kinds of fucking inside scoop to the sweet video games there. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> we also got to check out that fucking... Like the boardwalk down to this is like a Ferris wheel or some shit. We didn't even go on that side of town. It's too cold. <laughs> shit, you went like ten degrees. Now, fuck, we might die of exhaustion. Trying <laughs> to get down there. Like you're walking through a desert. Yeah. No, actually, no. I'm, it should be nice because you got that ocean breeze. Yeah, so it shouldn't same, be too bad. Same, we still haven't went to Seaside Heights either, but I hear that's kind of like because like a lot of people like to go there during the summer. Obviously, it's a tourist place, but a lot of people like to go there looking for trouble. So nice. I might go there. I might actually go to Atlantic City with my dad. We might stay there. That'd be dope. Wait, we'll talk. We'll talk later. Cause I gotta go pick him up on your birthday, and on the seventeenth. And uh, we were thinking about staying in Atlantic City, just heading up the casino and checking some places out, and then coming back the next day with my dad. No, that's it's just cool. gonna be me going up to get him. Where's he flying into? Atlantic City. Oh, he's flying into Atlantic City. Mm-hmm. It's cheaper. That's smart. So everyone kept telling me, like, fly me to Philadelphia. It was like $800 for a ticket. I was like, sorry, Dad, you're going to have to pick another time to come. He's like, really? I was like, he's like, that's the only time I could really get off. I was like, well, there's got to be another airport around here. And I saw Atlantic City. It's the same drive. It's the same freaking drive, like same distance. The only difference is that ticket was 130 bucks. So you're you're telling me there's this. Fucking six hundred and like sixty five dollar difference for the same fucking drive. What the fuck is the that? only difference? Philadelphia is closer to Las Vegas. Atlantic City is not. So you're not only flying farther, but you're saving like six hundred bucks on a ticket. And I don't have to deal with tolls. The international airport goes around the toll road. So I don't have oh, to deal with tolls. Oh, that's even better. But if you wanted to, I got to leave at like 4.30 p.m. in the afternoon to go get him. If you wanted to, you can come with. And it we're going to stay in Atlantic City. Depends on if we get that next day off. We do. We're supposed to get just, well, I've only heard Monday. But if we get Monday, Tuesday? This Monday. This coming Monday. We get this coming Monday off. I got gotcha. you. And then after drill weekend, we get the Monday, Tuesday off. Got it. There was some confusion there. Yeah, if that's the case. If you wanted to, it'd be yeah, fun. We'll see. My dad said he's paying for everything. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> but <laughs> like, you are now, bitch. <laughs> I was, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you got some time to make up, boy. I haven't seen my dad in like 10 years. He left when I was a kid. <laughs> Went to go get Newports. <laughs> Went to go get a gallon of milk. Never came back. <laughs> <laughs> Typical sad story. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this fucker up so we can do the after dark show. Because I got we got some stories to share. <laughs> awesome, yeah. So I know you fuckers, I'm, I'm, man. People blow me up about this, and uh, yeah, we had stuff to take care of. Sorry. So now yeah, it hasn't been that long since our last episode, though. No, not as like, long as people make us fucking fiends, fucking fiends. Well, okay, hold on. To be fair, we did record an episode. <laughs> it just. It got a little hectic. Hectic. Camera quit. Footage that didn't need to be seen. 
audio that did not need to be heard. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> the quality was not there. No, it was. The it was food not. was good that day, though. The weather was good, too. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, it hasn't been that long, but we're back. We should have ke- kept that for, like, a lost episode. <laughs> <laughs> just drop it like two years from now we're real famous this is the episode you didn't hear <laughs> this is the one you missed out oh on. yeah uh, we're gonna have a part two to this one yeah maybe not tonight but coming soon yeah kind of another probably another catch up just to catch yep. everything up with that's been going on in the last two i know i got some more stuff i gotta think of i got a lot yeah we kind of sprung this one up out of nowhere yeah just like let's well, just get something out yeah yeah which is worth okay. it. So, and then, okay, so I'll, I'll drop a little spoiler alert. Not every video we're going to do, well, not everyone's going to have a video, but we're going to start recording more just audio because it just, like you said, I with think the that'll so- be okay. Because, like you said, with the software, it just takes so much time to do the editing, even though it seems so simplistic. But it, with the software we're working with, it's really not. Yeah, the well, audio is matching the audio with the video. Yeah, it's but, a pain in the ass. But the audio, like fucking, I can throw that shit up in like five minutes mm-hmm. on everything. Spotify, if you want, Castbox, fucking. Exactly. It. We'll put it on YouTube as well with the stupid ass photo, so you're not looking in darkness. Yeah. So if if you guys want us to keep making videos, I'll set up a donation. Yeah, thing. we'll figure that out. I'll set up like a Venmo or uh, what's the I don't know the other ones. I'm sorry. I'm now, Cash we'll, app. We'll figure out the one that does charges us the least. Yeah. So I'll set something up where we can take donations. And if I can, if we can get enough, I'll get the new software and we create more like videos immediately. But right now, yeah, we'll probably stick with one video a week and we can do a couple audios because audio is easy. Oh, audio is yeah. simple. Because like for what, most of you don't know, like you do most of the, you do all the video editing and stuff. And then mm-hmm. you do like the YouTube, uh, Patreon, that stuff. And then like Castbox, Spotify, those things. Like I'm usually... I I probably have the audio up before he even started editing. No, yeah, you'll be waiting on me. And like, I'll have it all loaded up, the whole fucking script written out and everything, ready for social media, and then we'll just be waiting on him. Yeah, but not not that that's an issue. It's just no, and it's not even like it's like difficult what I'm doing. No, it just takes a long time, especially with my internet. It's like, oh, it's ready. Then I just come up with a stupid ass title, put the clip art, good to go. We'll get there. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna slow down on the YouTube. Or well, the, the videos. videos, and probably pump up the audio. Yeah, but just eventually we're gonna get back to more videos. But I know a lot of people just listen in the car, so they're not even seeing how stupid we fucking act anyway. Which is <laughs> that's coming down the line though. We're gonna get like because eventually we'll be able to get better cameras, and then we're gonna have traveling podcasts now that we are able to actually go do shit. And we are it, having travel. Yeah, yeah, we are gonna. Have we're definitely podcasts. gonna do that, we're and ready then to go. We're ready. To- <laughs> Yeah, we're ready. We're fucking languages. We, <laughs> Midget and Lennox City, we got like the perfect spot of the Caesar's Palace too. Actually, hell yeah, we did. Where those that, midgets were fun or not? <laughs> <laughs> the homeless people. Were fun. I watched some weird porn earlier. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. So we got some sweet stuff. We got stuff coming down the line. It's just taking. It was just a month where it was just such a fucking conundrum. Yeah, I really appreciate everyone holding tight for us. I know it's been a long few weeks <laughs> it on the seems content. probably longer than most. But if life happens it just it happens yeah but we're back we're back everything's good to go straight arrow our dicks are hard it's all that's about all i got I'm about to break this zipper <laughs> <laughs> all right so like us on facebook follow us on instagram like subscribe on uh youtube yep and we're gonna have some sweet outfits coming soon fuck yes we are <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> I don't know. All right. Yep. They've got to end it that way. That just sets up the After Dark show. (laughs) All right. Let's push on. All right. Later. Peace.